right, good morning, everybody. This is the 10th grade A on a Monday, the 3rd of May. This is the first week of May. We are entering a new month, new month. Um, and we will continue with our unit. <clears throat> Today's class is all about making predictions and some listening practice, okay? Also, the question that we have almost every week is, how are you feeling today? And for that, are we going to launch a pool? We're going to launch a pool. Give me one second. <clears throat> We're going to launch a pool. And how are you feeling today? Or maybe how was your weekend? No. Oh, how are you feeling today? I hope that you had a good weekend, people. I hope that you had a good weekend. Okay, it's done. Ready? Let's go. Uh, how are you guys feeling today? I could say I feel like number mm, number eight, maybe. Eight or one? Yeah. Eight and one. I think if I had to choose one. Anyone feeling number nine? Oh. El nueve es una carita contenta. Uh -huh. yeah. El nueve más bacán. Entre el nueve y el seis. Dale, el nueve y el cuatro. Uh -huh. Oh, this thing is divided. It's divided. Pretty much, pretty much number no, number one thing. Oh, Lady Carvelin. I put the Lady Carvelin, you mark number five. Number five or number two? Ah, no, no, there's no number two. Ah, uh, you, you know, I knew it. Okay, so uh, only five people, five people. Haven't vote by people waiting for their votes. Between four and five. Ah, <laughs> those two are really different. One is like, okay, and the other one is like, uh, in the two different worlds. Is anyone number three? Ah, oh, no, no number three. Is anyone number eight? Oh, two people are number eight. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel number one, I think. I was very warm in my bed. It was cool. And then, oh, Monday. Okay, let's see. So these are the results. Number one is the winner. And then we have number, number, five and number six so there's a group of people who would love to be in bed and there's a group of people who are like oh, monday again english again some of the people are like yay and uh then comes number four no number four there's a tie between number four and number seven online classes with the earphones really sad <laughs> i'm sorry hey let's do some motivation let's do some motivation let's go Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna see some vines with me to start some motivation? Oh, la hola vieja. Yeah, I know. Oh, do you do you know any funny video? Fucking views here. Do you know any funny video that we should watch? Manuel, I will love you. <laughs> yeah, vines. And that, does it exist? Does it exist? I mean, does it still exist? The app? Yes. 
Ah, okay, yeah, it was really difficult to compete with TikTok. I think TikTok does the same thing. Okay, ah, I like this one. Um, British funny TikTok. Uh, British accent. I like that one. Ah, uh, this one. Uh, right away. Wait a second. I like this one. It's funny. Okay. Yeah, we need to start with funny things. I like that. Let's do it. Ah, come on, computer. What are you doing? Let's go. British people be like, it's Tuesday, and it. <laughs> British people watching Spider-Man be like, Peter Parker. <laughs> British people be like, can I get a bow of water? <laughs> British people get mad and be like, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> British people getting stabbed be like, I there mate, bit rude to put that knife in me chest in it. <laughs> British it. people watching Spider-Man be like, Peter Parker. <laughs> British people be like, I'm British. <laughs> British people be like, can I get a cup of water? <laughs> British people be like, mathematics. Mathematics. British people be like, mathematics. <laughs> mathematics is hard, <laughs> isn't it? I don't know what that's all. British people watching Spider-Man be like, Peter Parker. British people be like, think it through, bruv. British people be like, it's Tuesday, innit? <coughs> British people be like, mathematics is hard, innit? <laughs> British people get punched by their roommates and be like, oh fuck, can't believe you've done this. British people be like, Harry Potter. Harry... British people be like, I thought we were in this together. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, Manu, send me a funny video. Tengo unos cuantos, pero no creo que sean abrovios para la clase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, agree, agree, agree. Ah, no, what's going on? No sé si hace poco se dio una cuenta que se llama Historia para Tontos. Es muy buena. Y está en, está en Instagram. Pero... Este es bacán. Es porque, porque le gusta la historia. Está bacán. Ya, yeah. ok, let's begin the class. So, 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 to start the class, I need to send you the link from, right, from nearby. Okay. Uh, let's go. There you go. This is the link. Mm, this is the near pod <laughs> code. Mm -hmm. Can I send the link? Ah, yes, I can send the link. It's better to have the link. All right. I'll wait for you in the... Ah, what's going on? Okay. I'll be waiting in near pod. Meanwhile, I'm going to find a funny video. <laughs> Subscribe. Marty B. Mar Marty B, do you know anything from Martina Rivera? Is she okay? Can anyone tell me if she's okay? I 
Age of Empire 4. Oh, what? Age of Empire 4. Mm, okay, very nice. Thank you. Uh oh. Suicide of murder. Kirk Cobain. I think maybe suicide. I think. Mm, difficult. I don't know. Suicide of murder. Or suicide. I don't know. Too dense for the moment. Seconds of roses. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I have enough people. Javi Chavez, Anto Carvelin, Anto Luciano, Marty B. Marty B is like a like a trap singer. Marty B. Right, let's do this then. Let's go. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do today basically focuses on language and is on making predictions. And also what we will be doing today is uh, some do some listening connected to the future as well. All right. So first things first. So what is going to happen in the future? So connected to these pictures. Here we are. Okay. So what do you think about this? pictures what do you think will happen according to the pictures people let's do some speaking i'll start with the first one in the future people say that uh, the cars will drive themselves they will be uh, driverless cars that's what people say or it's also some people say that uh, that cars will fly mm -hmm. okay what do you think about this one What was this? Que, mm -hmm. que se okay, so people say that we we will be able, we will be able uh, to will be able to create organs or print maybe print three D organs, three D organs. Okay. For example, that's an idea. Three D organs. I think that's real now. I think that's happening right now like 3d okay, this is 3d 3d organs 3d printed uh, yeah they did it okay uh, but it's uh, what i think this is the next that this is the next step right because i don't know but let's see if they can is this have just just made a breakthrough by 3D printing a heart from real human cells. This is one step closer to a future where 3D organs can be printed on demand. In this video, we'll take a look at growing cells. In Researchers at Israel's Tel Aviv University have just successfully 3D printed a heart made from real human cells. Previously, but the heart is really tiny. Yeah, uh, from human cells. How do you do that? Oh, there was another one here beats in a row or approximately half an hour. The Zurich Heart was able to achieve a pump flow of 2.2 litres per minute. This is about two to three times less than the human heart. Still far from what's required to keep a human alive, but not bad for a replica. Apart from the application of building replacement organs, 3D printing is being used to develop new medicines. For example, what if rather than being given a one-size-fits-all medication, Doctors and scientists can model your illness and apply the right exact procedure or medicine for your case. By building tumors in labs using 3D printing, research foreshadows a future where on-demand organs are available oh. without waiting lists. According to some estimates, this reality could be less than a decade away. A decade away, so in 10 more years, probably we're gonna have that. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay, what about the next picture? People, let's go. Right right. Other, other yeah, yeah. We'll colonize. We'll colonize all the plants. Uh, what plant? What plant do you think it's this one? Manu. Mars. Mars. So, how long do you think it will take for humans to get to Mars? Mm, 
and three, five years. Three or five years. Ah, okay, that's quite soon. Yeah, maybe in five more years, and we're gonna see the first. I think the first, the first astronaut is gonna be a girl, and she is training now to be in Mars. She's a young girl. I think she's eighteen now. Some other people say that space travel will be available in the future. So you would say, I'm going on vacation to Jupiter. So that may, maybe that will happen in 100 more years, maybe. Now, what about the last one? What about this one? What about that one? Uh, robots, uh, sirvientes. Yeah, like robots assisting people. That's true. Robots assisting people. So in this sense, uh, it's quite similar to what we see in some video games or even in Star Wars, where droids, they help people out. This thing probably will happen, okay? It will take some time, but we are on our way. Especially the last one, that happens already. If you go, for example, to, if you see uh, Japan, uh, uh, robot restaurant, Rubber waiter, uh, that happens. For example, here. Hello, world. By Japanese. Japanese people that live in another planet. Wow. Without technology, they'll need a helper to do most things. And without technology, they'll need a helper to do most things. Only two weeks, but the aim is to launch Paralympic Games come to town. The workers are located. Wow. Strange, strange, and this one too. What? Wow, that's neat. How long do you think that technology will take to get in Chile? When when are we going to have robots, robot waiters in Chile? Maybe 20 more years, probably. All right, let's see. What are your predictions for the future? Can you think of anything, anything that you, you think is going to happen by 2050, 2050. Think about something that is that you think will happen by 2050. Okay, I'm gonna write one as well. Um, people. Mm. Think of something that you believe is gonna happen by 2050. Okay, this is my guess. Uh, where is it? The people will colonize Mars. That's what I think. 2050, for sure, there will be people in Mars. I think at least some scientists, people from, from the scientist community, they will be there studying. Come on, it's studying more years, right? Okay, people, your turn. Let's see. What do you think? Mm, 
Europe. Can you wait? Are you in Nearpod? Can you write them in Nearpod? Can you write them in Nearpod, please? Can you write them in your pod, please? I'm going to refresh. Nope. No. No. ¿No crees que pase mucho en 20 años? Wow. <risa> no te creo. Bro. Imagínate en 20 años. En 20 años tenía, ¿cuánto? 20, eh, 11 años. Y desde ahí hasta acá he visto que le de cosas re distintas. Muy heavy. Compartir internet. Los videojuegos en línea. Uh, si todo con cosas electrónicas es muy heavy bueno el hecho de viajar está bien the VR will be so realistic that's reality Ooh, I think that's scary dude yeah I don't like VR to be honest because it feels kind of real sometimes do not have to work because they're going to be robots and they will do the oh Marilyn. it ha okay let, let's imagine that that happens robots take the place of humans and how are we going to produce how are we going to teach alonda is here No, a los otros me lo haré falta galeta. No, es muy, no, muy real, todavía. Muy impráctico, igual, imagínate si la gente ya en la carretera maneja muy mal. Imagínate en el área, van a chocar todo el rato. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see, we have bring back nuclear energy since it's cleaner than renewable it's cleaner than re renewable burning really mm, that's debatable hi guido thank you yeah that's debatable i don't know have you seen the, the have you seen the nuclear waste they are super super contaminating and radioactive an asteroid will hit the earth. Ooh, Felipe Marin. The world will explode. Oh, due to global warming, I don't think we'll last very long indeed. Ooh, Mary Ignacia. Exactly the same as now, but with more technology. Really? Due to global warming, I don't think we can, we'll last very long. Well, global warming, it is a problem, that's true. Anyone else? Let's see, anyone else from the people in the team? What else? Ah, sorry, my delight. I didn't send the link. Let me send the link again. Uh, it's in the chat now. Animals. Some animals are going extinct. Ooh, absolutely. Absolutely. That will happen. Totally. 
Well, if global warming continues like that, maybe polar bears, maybe they're gonna go extinct, maybe. Polar bears. But now, it's, now I think it's easier to preserve animals, to preserve them. I don't know, panda bears, for example, they did an amazing job to preserve pandas. And um, they might do the same with the polar bears, maybe, or with other animals. Human humans have disappeared through wars and plagues. Okay, but it's the future. Will have disappeared. Or oh, will disappear. Yeah, humans will disappear through wars and plagues. Or plagues. Another pandemic, you know. Oh, please, no. Okay, I get your idea. Let's continue. Thank you. Okay. Let's have a look at the following video and you're going to answer some questions. Okay, and here the question is, okay, we're going to see the video now. We're going to have a look at the video and you're going to tell me what is the thing or what are the things that impress you the most from the video? What are the things that impressed you the most from the video? Give me one second. I'm going to put the video. I'm going to play the video now. Hello, Emilia. Emilia, hello. Okay, this is by 2050. Right, 2050. So let's see more or less what things are going to happen or what things are going to change. Okay, Emilia, be careful. Después de ciertos minutos quedan, quedan como atrasados. Yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Ya, yeah, ven a Let's see if nothing changes. This is what's going to be in 2050, more or less. Let's go. I like that. Mm. You can change the style of the car. Mm. And everything is digital. You don't need more Yeah. Oh, that's good. I 
efficiently tablet glass antimicrobial scratch chemical resistant. Uh, They operate the person like that. possible by corning corning is like a technological foundation all right let's do it let's go to the question then the question was near pot what is or what was the most impressive thing from the video the thing that you were like wow 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 Yeah, that's true. Sí, totalmente. Ten, anda con una tablet para todos lados. Y si te la roban, no puede hacer nada. Okay, let's go with activity. Okay, let's go. Me robaron la tablet, no puedo participar en nada. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Mia. Yeah, she's here. Usually in the morning, she's here playing. Let's see some answers. Yeah. 
I would love to see the medical, the medical area, the medicine area, so bad, so they can save people's lives. I would like to see that. The dinosaurs, yes. Yeah, the blackboard at the school, yes. I would love to work with something like that. Yeah, I think it was similar to La Pizarra Magica. The VR was awesome, yeah. The House of Glass in his closet. Advanced technology in medicine. Yeah, I believe the same. Well, that's true, Mauricio, yeah. Yeah. But it usually comes from an idea that didn't exist. Mm -hmm. I don't know, imagine. The creator of internet, maybe. Medical part, what the brain looked like. The humans will be still not. Will still, ah, yeah, guys, that's true. I think we will continue living. Yeah, that's true. I think the same. We will continue living. All right, let's continue. All right, so now. If you have to work on some aspects, uh, is that how we make predictions. You guys have done quite well, and we know that when we make predictions, we are using the tense will, okay? Will and won't uh, will help us to predict things about the future. Also, we have other ways to predict the future or possibilities, and these are the following. We have may, sorry, I have, the white color letter. Okay, we have also may or may not. May not. We also have might. We have might not. Okay, and we're talking about probability. Pro. So we can also use this ones uh, to talk about the future. We can say that humans may may colonize the uh, the planet Mars, but may instead of being a prediction, it's like a probability. So we can we are talking about something that may happen, and it has uh, good chances to happen. Uh, on the other hand, might has fewer chances. So if we are talking about maybe percentages. I think the may might could be like a 25% chance. And here, for example, could be 50% chances, okay? Maybe 50 or more might happen, okay? So we can use will to predict things about the future. And if we wanna talk about probabilities of something to happen, we can use also may and might. For example, I think uh, cars might fly in 10 more years. Might, it means that it's not that probable. I don't think so. I think they will fly like in 100 more years because flying now is expensive. So I don't think so. All right, so let's watch this video and try to predict what's going to happen. We're going to watch the following video. What do you think will happen? Let's see. Let me open my notes because I want to write your predictions. Okay, notes are ready. Uh, a new note. Yep. Yep. Different color. Make it yellow. All right. What's going to happen or what will happen in the video? Let's go. Video number one, let's see. And you can help me. Box. Box. All right, people, what do you think will happen? We saw a little kid with a ball, 
a crystal ball. It was like more, more like a decor, like a Christmas decoration bowl. What do you think will happen? Any, anything? Do you want to watch it again? Maybe. All right. I don't know. Yeah, but that's the idea. <laughs> the idea is to think. Okay, video number one. Let's see. Box. The box. Okay. Maybe open the box and then give him a Christmas ball. Okay, what do you think will happen? Anything. Anything. I think, in my opinion, I think that the kid will uh, break the ball. That's my prediction. What about you? Se la mete la boca la que... Okay, so it's, wait, 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 we don't want to see it yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So, uh, here I think that the kid, uh, the kid puts the ball, the kid will put, the kid puts the ball in his mouth, mouth and breaks it i guess the kids will put okay and will break it okay 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 uh, i think a dog will come and run over the kid yeah i tell you the picture now let's see what's happened one on video okay so it was the easiest one i think i won let's see the number two day mm. what do you think is going to happen with the number two what do you think is going to happen in number two? <laughs> ideas, idea, I'm going to play it again. Give me your ideas. Day. What will happen? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Let's see. So people say that people say that the dog will eat the hand of the kid. Is it look on me? Yeah, that's way the kid will eat. What is on the top of the mat of the nose of the dog? Dog's nose. Nose. And you go give the baby that. Okay, the kid will be will hit the dog. I wish I am annoying. <laughs> Okay, the kid, the dog, will bite him. Destroy. Okay, so the dog will jump and push the kid. Okay, let's see. What happens? Ah! Oh! You did it. That's good. You did it. Nice, nice, nice. I think even to say was yeah, even to say that was you. Abby. good. Okay, what about this one? Oh. 
Mm, okay, we see uh, a woman with a kick Try, trying to open the door. Trying to open the door. What do you think will happen? Dejan un portazo y se cae y la cama. ¿Cómo le dan un portazo si está la puerta cerrada? Ah, uh, okay, okay, let's see. Sorry. The door, the door will open and it will splash on her face. Yeah. The 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 cake will fall. Yeah. Anything else? Come la torta y a la huerta. Now let's see. Eso te tira la torta. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So she, she, she gets scared and throws the the cake on the person who will open the door. Someone will push her. And the cake will fall. Yeah, let's see. Okay, we have a, a lot of options. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, a torta. What's gonna happen to the baby girl? I have no idea what might happen to the little girl. Idea. Se cae ruego en el balde. Because as she falls and rolls with the, the bucket. The bucket. El perro salta a la niña. Okay, so the dog will jump. Over the kid, the girl will crash. Okay, the girl, the girl will crash. I will bump. People get crash it from a path. You know, he bump a kid, choca con el bump. Yeah, again, here we go. What's the path? Estoy tirando una, una nota. En, una, en un blog de nota. Ok, what will happen? The girl will bump, yeah. The little girl will bump and fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little girl. Girl will bump. And fall. Okay, so I think it's written like this, man. Bump. If you bump with something, or if you bump, bump with someone, choca así. Oh. Pero no es como crash que tú vas y te que hay así botado. So, bump. You can bump into someone in the street. For example, if you're looking at the phone and then you don't see the person who's coming, you can bump into that person. Okay, so the bucket, the bucket, 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 bucket falls and she gets dizzy, 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 Mariana. She gets dizzy and falls. She gets dizzy. Okay, let's see. She bumped. That's that's correct. That was it. Okay, she bumped. And last one. Let's see, last one. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Okay, so there's a family reunion, and I think one other person, probably the cook, 
bring something very, very hot on a tray. Oh, this is not going to end well. This not, this not going to end well. People, what do you think? The last one, let's do this one. The plate would fall. Okay. Okay, the plate would fall, but it's hot. He said, ah, it's hot. Okay, so the plate will fall. Because look, 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 it comes. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So he, okay, he will throw the food out of the window. He will throw the food out of the window. I'm going to open this up. Yeah, anything else? He will throw the food out of the window. I think that's possible. I mean, if, if, if you have something in your hands, it's really, 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 really hot. I will throw it away. Like, wow. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Last one. You can need the bag like oh. Okay, so the kid, a kid, will arrive and blow the candle off. Okay. Okay. Anything else? La cara que tenía la niña. Okay, oh, okay, okay. The balloon, the balloon explodes. The balloon will explode. And she starts to cry. And, oh, okay, so, so she will burn her hair. The girl will start crying. Always happen. Okay. The girl will start crying. I, I, yeah, I feel the same. <laughs> Thank you, Evie. Let's see. Yay! So, stay here. Watch your hair. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <gasps> this is my new photo by Sarah. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is my new story. Let's do the Josefa Fontaine. Josefa Fontaine, the genius. Very nice. Okay, people, change activity. Let's go. Okay, good. So there were there were some good predictions, you guys. She burned the hand. She burned the hair. Yeah, yeah. I laugh about it because it's funny. All right, let's continue. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we are going to do some listening practice, okay? And with the listening practice com comes an activity, okay? Okay, there will be some questions. There will be some questions connected to the listening. So we have to listen first. Let's go. All right, we are ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, 
so we're going to be listening to the future of transport and from the future of transport we have some questions attention pay attention to the listening this is this is uh from bbc learning english one of my favorite sources of listening let's go six minute english from bbc learning english Hello, I'm Rob and this is Six Minute English, the show that brings you an interesting topic, authentic listening practice and some vocabulary to help you improve your language skills. And hello, I'm Neil. Our topic today is transport. How do you think you'll be travelling to work in, say, 30 years' time, Rob? Well, not only will homeworking be more prevalent, that means common, but I hope I won't be working in 30 years' time. <laughs> Good answer. But if we look back and see how transport has changed in the last 30 years, it makes you wonder what the future holds. Yes, we've seen how air travel has become commonplace for many people. Commonplace means not unusual. And there's been the development of high-speed train travel. But the main priority has been speed, going faster to make your journeys quicker. That's true, and we'll be discussing some ideas for making transport even faster soon. But let's not waste any time and speed on to today's quiz question. Ah, uh, yes, time waits for no one, not even you, Neil. So, can you answer this question? According to Guinness World Records, in which country has the fastest ever train been recorded? Is it in A, China, B, Japan, or C, France? Mm, all these countries have fast trains, but I've heard the Chinese trains go particularly fast, so I'm going to say A, China. Well, you'll have to wait until the end of the programme to see if you're right. But let's talk more now about the future of transport. One development we hear much about is automation. Automation means using machines to do work that humans normally do. And in terms of transport, this means driverless vehicles. It won't be too long before we become the passenger in a driverless car. Mm, scary. And the French train engineering company Alstom is planning to test automated freight trains later this year. The automated train prototype can travel for about 100 kilometres without driver intervention. A prototype is the first version of something which can be tested before it's produced in large quantities. Of course, some trains are already driven by computers, but there's an exciting plan to develop a form of driverless vehicle that could move you around at 1,123 kilometres per hour. Come on, Neil, that sounds a bit far-fetched. Like flying cars that we see in sci-fi movies. It's difficult to believe because it's unlikely to happen. Well, you say that, but it's already being tested in Nevada in the USA and has a name, Hyperloop One. Ah, tell me more. The idea is you get loaded into a pod and then you're pushed through a metal tube at high speed, taking you to your destination in minutes rather than hours. Anita Sengupta is the lead systems engineer and says there's nothing <laughs> scary about it. The Hyperloop is a maglev train in a vacuum system or in a vacuum tube. And so you can also think of it as an aircraft flying at 200,000 feet. So people don't have any issue flying in airplanes and people don't have any issue going in maglev trains. This is simply combining the two and it allows you to be more energy efficient. People don't have so it. Anita Sangupta explained the type of technology the Hyperloop used. First, she mentioned maglev. That's a short way of saying magnetic levitation. It's when trains travel on magnetic track rather than conventional rails. And then she mentioned a vacuum system. A vacuum is a space that has all the air and other gases removed from it. So the tube these pods travel in have no air, so there's no resistance. And these technologies are more efficient and they save energy. Which is a good thing. This sounds like a great way to travel, but will it take off? Well, BBC technology correspondent Rory Kethlin jones isn't so sure. He thinks it will be quite challenging to convince governments to allow long metal tubes to be built on or below ground. But we have to try these new technologies, Rob. If we didn't, we'd still be travelling around on horse and cart. Hmm, a good point, Neil. And we wouldn't have been able to travel at the great speeds mentioned in today's question. Now, earlier I asked you, according to Guinness World Records, in which country has the fastest ever train travelled? Is it in A, China, B, Japan or C, France? And I said A, China. Ah, and you were wrong, Neil. Ah. Ah. China does have some very fast trains, 
but the fastest recorded train was a maglev from the Central Japan Railway Company, which ran on a test track at a speed of 603 kilometres per hour. Now, that would make my commute to work very quick. Mm. OK, shall we recap some of the vocabulary we've heard today, starting with commonplace? Yes, which means not unusual or often seen. For example, free Wi-Fi in coffee shops is commonplace these days. And very useful it is too. Next, we had automation, meaning using a machine to do something instead of a human. Automation in the car-making industry has led to the loss of hundreds of jobs. Of course, when you build a new car, you need to make a prototype. That's the first version of something which can be tested before it's produced in large quantities. The prototype of a new solar-powered bike has been so successful that it's now going into mass production. Come on, Rob, that sounds a bit far-fetched. And by that, I mean so unbelievable it's unlikely to happen. Well, something people once thought far-fetched is now a reality, and that's maglev. That's short for magnetic levitation, and is how some of the world's fastest trains travel. Finally, we discussed the word vacuum. It's a space that has had all the air and other gases removed from it, basically an empty space. The plan for Virgin's Hyperloop 1 is to make a maglev even faster by putting it in a vacuum tube. And that brings us to the end of today's Six Minute English. Don't forget to check out our YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram pages and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Six Minute English. Ready. From BBC Learning English. Maglev train. Now, can we see a video of a maglev train? That would be nice. A maglev, maglev train. Let's see what... That'd be insane. Maglev train is speed. 600. Oh, dude. Shanghai Maglev train. Faster than the world. Oh. Wow, the sound is really strange. That sounds strange. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Let's answer the following questions. Let's go. Okay, please connect to near pod and we can play again. Okay, yes, we have nine people. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's hit it. Come, 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 come. More people come. Right, I think we are enough people. Let's go. Lucian is here. 
de hecho hasta ahora pero es que se conecta el mundo del cliente así que vamos a ir nomás vamos let's go Number one, let's see. Ooh, okay, good. Let's do a question. Question two. This is short, so let's hope it gets. The word commonplace refers to what? Uh, okay, very nice, don't worry. You, can, you may leave. Commonplace. Manu is leading the race. Oh, that's good. Question three. Auto automation, a popular term refers to what? Automation or automation. How long can be the prototype train driver? How long can the prototype train travel driver? Driveless, sin conductor, yeah. Driveless. Driveless. Oh, the other one is now on the back. A freight train generally carries Carries what? A prototype train, a prototype train, Diego Manu, Mr. Cordova is behind, also Campodonico, Miss Fontaine. A prototype train. Oh. Maglev train travels on. A maglev. That, that's a new word I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Nice one. A, vac a vacuum. A vacuum is a space where. A vacuum is a place where. A vacuum. It's a space where and 
think we finished with this one. What country has the fastest traveling train according to the recording? The fastest traveling train was it China, France, or Japan? Ah, uh, so the winner was Diego de Manu, Anthony Carvalho, Maite Vaido, Vicente Capolonico, and you rest. All right, people, I'll finish the class now. Have a good day. Enjoy. Have a good start of the week. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher.